All right, guys, here we're to talk about the movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. 1995's Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Next Generation Lee. Had you seen it before? I want to make so many jokes about like, yeah, and then Picard. I consider this to be the original. And no, 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 they're just TNG-like jokes. Um, yes, I think I might have seen this before, and I have a long story I'll tell later or something like that. Okay. But I had memories from this, but I don't think I saw the whole thing. But I remember seeing little bits of this, I guess, and being like, oh, Texas Chainsaw sucks. This movie, it's like a joke. This is terrible. Um, whatever, whatever. And then I saw the remake later. I, I, I still haven't seen the original, I think. Oh, so it was I'll wild it to revisit this one. Yeah, actually, there's multiple originals, I guess. Yeah. But it's a whole fucking, yeah. So yeah. this is one where, like, I've only seen it once before, and, like, you know, it was a while ago, Changed but I don't, think, I don't think when it came out, I think, like, yeah. years later. But it's, I have, like, fractured memories yeah. of it, and then when I'm, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to piece those together when I rewatch it. <laughs> I still have fractured memories no, gonna... and so many questions that I can't wait to ask you, because gonna... I'm sure the guy that made it couldn't even tell me. No, I was just going to say, like, um, you know, even in my head, I'm like, I might have seen it. I feel like I, I only saw parts of it, but yes, after you this watch... This is the worst yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Yeah, like, when when you revisit it, you you know, you then have the same experience of like, did I watch that? I don't know if I really saw it. Right, so, whatever. Yes, I guess it's the worst. It has interesting things. But oh, yes. The, okay, yeah, fine. Very interesting There's things. There's things to talk about. Things that I'm going to be very happy to talk about. <laughs> and if you've seen it or don't care, fall over to spoilers. And if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video and we eat the competition. All right, so here we are for the spoilers of Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Next Generation. Lee, let me hear your <sighs> spoiler-filled thoughts. Yeah, I think I'd never seen Texas Chainsaw, and I mm -hmm. still haven't. And probably the, the second one then, based on, like, math or whatever. Okay. But I remember, I think when I was, like, super young, because, you know, Texas Chainsaw is from, like, 1928 or something, right? Whatever. Maybe 78. It's old. The point is, when I was born, it was already there. Sure. And, and my parents were like, you can't watch that. That's too scary. Mm. And I was like, oh, legendary Leatherface Chainsaw. Okay. I My young mind can imagine. It's very scary and stuff. And I think then, years later, I just forgot. I'm like, whatever. Who cares? I'm yeah, watching. Years later, I was still under the same rules. I'm, I'm not allowed. I'm just watching other movies then. But I haven't. I, it's never occurred to me to go back and watch shit from the 70s. Because mm. I, quite frankly, even when I was a kid and even to this day, when stuff's old, I'm like, I don't like this. This is old. Can I watch something better? And I'm a mixed bag there. Yeah, no, some stuff rises above it, and mm -hmm. some stuff is better because it's old, and I've yeah. changed as I've gotten older, but certainly when I was, like, 15, I was like, this is... I Like, Star Wars A New Hope, I'm like, this is an old, shitty movie. I don't want to watch this. From a certain point of view. This is boring. This this The sound sounds like whatever. Anyway, uh, I think I randomly saw, like hopefully just like five minutes and it was like Matthew McConaughey screaming and people like flailing around. <laughs> And then like running outside and like spinning in a circle and shit. I might have seen the last like 10 minutes of this movie like on cable or something. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, I, all these years I've been so like, oh, Texas Chainsaw. I can't wait to go unveil that because I'd seen like, you know, like uh, like Nightmare on Elm Street and all the other scary yeah, yeah. things. And I was like, I, oh, I haven't seen that one. And then I'm like, oh, it sucks. It's the worst. <laughs> Now, this is the worst like of the a, franchise. It's like a joke. So this whole time, I've just been like, oh, Texas Chainsaw sucks. Then I see the remake in, I think, 2000-whatever it was. Uh, five, six? Something like that. Early 2000s, like mid-early 2000s. And it's like Jessica Biel yeah. and uh, R. Lee Emery, Emery, whatever, that guy. Yeah. And and that I remember. And, and, and I remember from that being like, oh, they're all, like, messed up, but, like, that's the bit where, like, they, like they like stab you and they just laugh and then you stab them and they laugh and like, oh, they're crazy. Oh, I get it. Look at that shit. We got something else in common now. <laughs> See that? It's all chaos. There you go. And my mind just like filled in the rest of the series where it was like, yeah, imagine that, but it's just a big dumb guy and it sucks. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. They remade it again. It yeah, started, recently, right? Yeah, like this year or yeah. late last year. Um, and, and that one's fine, but it's pretty bad. It's, it's woke or whatever. Oh, no. Um, Try anything and you cancel, bro. Totally oh, fuck. This one, I want to say, is the worst of the franchise in general. I think this is the fourth or third of oh, the Oh, I thought it was the third. Series. Yeah, okay. Um, I forget. Hmm. But, uh, but no, like, there's just shit doesn't make sense. So, like, at, at the very end, there's, like, some little tie-ins where, like, oh, those are characters from other other movies. Oh, this and that, which you wouldn't have picked up on. Um, there's, like, a cop and a girl on a gurney. Who's on, the, who's on the gurney? She's from the other movie. Oh, I was like, I was like, ah! 
ah, what's that? Because they but, hang on it like, oh, yeah. no, no. Yeah. A lot of people like in this movie, I think, are supposed to play characters that were in other movies, but they're not. Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't I, I, it doesn't actually make any sense. And there's like just things where it's like, okay, we don't have weird pneumatic remote controlled legs now. I, I don't know what they were going for with this. I think it's hilarious. And why so, you would need multiple remotes with batteries okay. to operate your leg? No. You having a bad day, huh? Why are my batteries not charged? That was a part of my memory was what, cause I, I didn't say it in my rant, but it's like Matthew McConaughey is freaking out and his leg is like <laughs> And I'm like, what is this? Is this Texas Chainsaw Massacre? This sucks. This is crazy. But I was always interested because I'm like, oh, that shit's wild. That shit's yeah, crazy. He's like Leslie and, uh, Nielsen from fucking Surf Ninjas. <laughs> like his, his sh limbs I are just robotically boop, not boop, operating boop, the way they're supposed to. Beep bop. <laughs> No, and 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 honestly, them fighting with the remotes and then him taking out a bunch of remotes yeah. and I guess the batteries are dead or they don't work or something, that's kind of genius. Like I I I kind of love that. It, honestly. But, <laughs> but why? Who like, cares? I I care a you little. Care. Well, it's, it's it wouldn't be a problem if yeah. it was just like one weird unexplainable thing, but the movie is just a series of weird unexplainable yeah, yeah, yeah. things. <laughs> Like, the fucking, the, the whole premise of having this guy come in, oh, I'm like this occult lawyer-looking motherfucker. Can anybody else tell? Things are gonna change. I can promise you that. And that's, I'm the head of the Illuminati. That's who, what broke me, Who yes. just wants you to do evil things because that's so, good for me. I <laughs> You think you missed something in, when he comes in. In my desperation, I did go check IMDb. Okay. And unfortunately, in like interviews, the, whoever made this has been saying, oh yeah, it's like a satire of the declining horror movie aesthetics of the time or something like that. And how, oh yeah, it's bad on purpose type of thing. Where I'm no. like, this sounds like a Tommy Wiseau thing. Where yeah. like, like, I, the, the only people who like this shit on it. And now you're like, uh, yeah, I'm a genius actually. I did that on purpose. You no, just don't get everything it. Everything that you see and experience viewing the room was done meticulously with meticulous planning and with a lot of preparation. It's a really low budget movie. It's like early days McConaughey. We yeah. get an all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. So That's we got amazing. that. When that happened too, I was like, what's happening? No, but the guy, the limo guy, the guy who shows up and starts talking essentially to the audience. Boomless. It's been an abomination. You really must accept my sincere apologies. It was supposed to be a spiritual experience. Yeah. And it's like, you call this horror? This is not true horror. And I'm like, that's what I've been saying. It's one of those things, which usually I'm down for totally insane stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't even think that they like correctly uh, did that, right? Because if the movie if the movie stopped when it was 80% done uh -huh. and they were like, all right, cut, we can't do this. This is, this is terrible. That would be amazing to me, right? But they don't even do that really, right? He comes, he comes back. He barely saves them. A plane kills McConaughey for More no reason. More people die. Like, by plane <laughs> than by chainsaw Absolutely. in a movie called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Exactly. Is that not, like, what? Genius, I know. <laughs> A, a little genius. No, but, but also just, no, but it, you're selling me a bill of goods. I yeah. came here because I wanted to be murdered by chainsaws. It's not, yeah. Where's that at? Because it's not genius. Leatherface in this, like, sucks. Yeah, not, they're not, experimenting with that character well, more. But, like, not that I care about Leatherface. And and part of me, like, I always feel sympathy for the idea that someone might have been trying something. <laughs> You went along, do whatever W tells you. If he even tries to hit you, you let me know. And I'll tell Vilma. I always want to give extra points if you tried and failed versus if you're just boring and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think making leather, you know, making Leatherface suck might have been genius because it's like, oh, this whole time uh, he's been built up as this like terrible killer force, this like unstoppable machine of a of a of a of like a rotting husk of a human with a chainsaw and this amazing thing, and now he's just this idiot that screams and sucks or whatever. <laughs> <laughs>
but he does in fact scream and suck. Like yeah. it is happening and I and I'm forced to watch it and there's no weird at one point she's like, "You sit down." And he's like, Mer. "You sit the fuck down." And shut up. And like does it? And I was like, "That's what? Oh my god." And then like it does not go where I want it to go. Well, it does not pan it's out. It's almost like he's acting like a woman because he's dressed oh, yeah, like a yeah. woman. At, at so some like, point, oh, that, he's doing that stuff. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, of that, yeah, I think, too. is a thing that like would have been more fun if you if he explored. We see him in two different outfits in this movie. Yes, if he was if like he the Ed done, like, a third and stuff. movie, a third outfit where he was like a totally different, yes. uh, you know, mannerisms, whatever. That might have actually been interesting. I know, but we don't really get that. The the movie, honestly, is. It's like if you took a, a, a five minute cold open and made a whole movie out of it. Now, now. Don't you let him get to you, because that's what he wants. <laughs> like, like all the characters you don't give a shit about, you don't know them, they're all playing these characters like like a hyped up version of like a shithead and the dumb blonde and the whatever. Yeah. And like, it's most like... of them die very quickly and unceremoniously. <laughs> Like a cold open would be, where like that would end, yeah. and then you'd hear like like wow, and I would lower his glasses. Look like we got like it would be like, like looks like, like that would someone happen. couldn't wait to get chopping. Miami has a new breed of criminal. Yeah. No, I exactly because in a cold open you don't have time to establish mm -hmm. things, so you have to just have a character go like oh, and what dreams may come as Shakespeare, and like do a whole and, and they're like okay, I I instantly know who this idiot is. Yeah. It's fine. Discretion is the better part of valor. And be Billy Shakespeare. But no, that's just all there all there is. I liked the girlfriend at first being like, let me help you and stuff, and then showing up and being in this crazy ditz with pizzas and like yeah. getting abused. Uh, uh, uh. Ma'am, your drinks are ready. But you knew that was happening. Oh, I, I saw it coming from a mile away. Just but the whole, I like, like it. People break your windows and your first thought is to like show your tail. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just... Like I'm even interested. See him in the yeah. So that type of stuff, though, this is what bothers me about all movies like uh -huh. this, honestly. Everything. House of a Thousand Corpses, everything. Because at some point, characters are doing things where I'm like, do you do this every day? Do you just stab yeah. each other every day? Are you just doing this be because you have company over? Or some high school boy. Yeah, they're always doing something to get me to flash them. Because you're not acting like that. You're acting like you're kind of ignoring her. Um, yeah. Renee Zellweger, like, like gets up and is like, uh, wait, I can leave. Wait, they're, like, busy. She tries. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, it's, it, that's amazing. Like, like um, uh, so many of these movies, they have people doing things like that, mm -hmm. where I am to believe that this is just your normal behavior. But if you did this every day, like, like, no, like, like they can't break the window every day. Yeah, they're always doing something to get me to flash them. What? They can't, like, like, he can't slam her, like, like, like she would have bruises and yeah. like bandages and casts on and all that stuff. They're, so I'm like, what's the happening? The acting between McConaughey and like yeah. the, the physicality they have oh, big time. is amazing. Like, it's late and I'm tired and the pizzas are getting cold. And nobody at you. <laughs> Like you're like, oh wow, okay, she threw him into the fucking fridge. Oh, the sex scene. Is, the sex like, scene is really good. Like almost aggress sex yeah, aggressive yeah. kissing where I'm like, well, okay, a lesser person might chip a tooth doing because this. Like, it, because it implies that like that's their thing yeah. and, and and like it makes it make sense. And it's a movie, so I understand. But it it, it always strikes me because whenever stuff happens, I'm always trying to calibrate, mm -hmm. like, is this like in wrong turn? It's like, oh, we're just cooking. Oh, we're just gutting an animal. But it's yeah, a, yeah, but it's yeah. a person, right? So you know it's like Tuesday. Oh, yeah, this is just their routine, it's fine. But some of these movies, I'm like, this, you can't be chopping off his fingers every day. That's crazy, I run out of fingers. What are you guys doing? Well, and yeah. for this, what, from almost every other horror movie in existence that would have a family like this, yeah. it'd be like, oh, we were traveling cross country and broke down and over in the middle of nowhere. They're like driving home from prom. They're like in their town. They're in the All the police have been this horrible accident. Yeah. dying. Prom night. Yeah, so like, true. it doesn't make sense, at one point, very cavalierly, she's at a pizza drive through window, which I've never seen before in my life, and I love that exists. Okay, we got one medium deluxe, one medium pepperoni, one large vegetarian, and your drinks will be out in a minute. Looking at this person, like, Boy Scouts are, like, looking in at this woman in the trunk. The cops are right behind her. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. 
in your dreams. Now, if I hear any more kicking or screaming, I'm gonna come back here and tape your mouth shut, all right? She doesn't have a care in the world about this. She finesses it, though. She's like, oh, They're oh, on oh, a road oh. where this murder and stuff is happening, and multiple cars go by. No, wait! Like, yeah. this is not a desolate, middle-of-nowhere road. This yeah. is an actual road. These are weird things to be happening that I are want... inconsistent with reality. So the, movie's on, the movie's on the short side. Yeah. I wonder if a lot of that stuff was cut, or they were just like, fuck it. We don't have... We, I don't know. Like, either we don't have time, or we just do not care about those things. Because, yes, all that's missing. There, there, there's yeah. none of that. And there's no... It's not even... The other part's not even good either. I hate this movie. Hey! I think it's really interesting, and I do love it on some level. But yeah. as a as like a film, I hate it. It's there's trying a, for so many things, yeah. but also delivering nothing. Yeah, there's a point where she's running from Leatherface, mm -hmm. and I think they don't even have the decency to cut away. She just stands there for a while and is like whatevering. And then Leatherface just breaks through the glass and the chainsaw's on again. He like snuck in or something. And it's just like a thing. And I'm like, what is like, that sounds like a minor complaint now that I'm saying it out loud, but it's ridiculous. I'm like, there's yes. no sense of like, you're supposed to cut and build the tension and do the mm -hmm. thing. She was just like, I guess I'm okay. Psh, and then like, there it comes are moments in, where right? you're like, oh, Renee Zellweger, like she's a smart character. Aside from the fact that like, yeah. we know she needs glasses and lost them very early on. Yeah, how about that, huh? Look again, God damn it. Go ahead, look again. She is yeah. doing things pretty well for a little while. Yeah. Like she runs, she like bursts through a fucking window. <laughs> She's like getting away, she's climbing, she's good. and then you're like, wait a minute, are you climbing an antenna to get away? Like, what are you doing here? Like, that. whose thought is that? Like, A, he can almost reach you. His chainsaw is is like a lumberjack's chainsaw. It's mm. gigantic. But B, he could just cut it down and you would be on the fucking ground. She jumps to a that. wire, she gets swung into like a greenhouse. Oh, like, God, she's a tough yeah. chick. Wait, when she's like climbing, at one point I couldn't tell what she was climbing from, and when she jumped, I couldn't tell that she was grabbing something, like my TV is dark or something like okay. that. But I was like, what is happening? <laughs> she's just like upside down, climbing. Yeah, I like her, and she's good in it. She's Renee Zellweger. Yeah. No, like, and, and similar, yes. similar to Famke Jensen, all-time dime. Mm -hmm. She's a good actress. She keeps showing up. I'm always happy to see her. And this was one of her early things that I've never seen, so I'm happy. I think this is her first starring role, because I... Mm. I can't remember anything before this, after yeah. this a lot, but exactly. But and this, is a, this is a very low budget movie. So like yeah. certain things I go, okay, I forgive you because it's a low budget movie. But other things I go, you had to work to make me have a question here. Like the guy opens his shirt for like no reason and you see like weird tattoos and like towel rack handles like coming out of his fucking shit. It looks like he's been ritualistically scarred like yeah. a Hellraiser guy. And I'm like, wait, well, wait, what? There's Did like, have any? And there's like hoop earring piercings just like into his flesh, right? Yeah, there Did had to have been up? more to that scene. And there were two things that I questioned here where he's licking her face and the way it cuts, I go, is that a stunt face? <laughs> 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 Is, is he licking somebody else? Same thing I think with like when she flashed out the window. I think it frames in a way where I'm like, oh, that's actually Stunt tits. Yeah. yeah. Sure. It's, it's just, just interesting and, and strange. No, him licking her face kind of kicks off a thing where I thought, I thought like, it reminds me of rubber almost, only okay. bad. Come on, don't waste your time explaining that garbage. Let's go. Just a minute, let me finish. Yeah. Right, where someone shows up and starts talking as if we're in a movie in a way, but not really. Mm -hmm. And then, like, yeah, he picks her up and takes her. I forget some of the dialogue, but at that point, I was so like upset. I'm just like, why are you doing yeah. this? Yeah, he like licks this... her, picks some pizza up off the ground, and leaves. And I'm like, there yeah. must have been many things cut here where you saw more things or did something or any rationale for why he came out here just to chastise you for not scaring appropriately. I, I don't know what's going on. Because there's ways to do that fourth wall unofficially. Scream does it, obviously, yeah. but they were famous and years later. Well, no, this is in the pocket. It's not that much years later. I was going to say, like, 
maybe, you know, I could see them trying for something, but I think if they were trying, they failed to achieve a certain, like, sense of, like, well, this is the part of the movie where she gets away, so I guess, just get in the car. Like, it has a weird yeah. vibe like that. But then, to cut to Leatherface, just spinning in a circle all stupid. I'm you like, wanted him this to sucks. throw the chainsaw yeah. and it gets, like, wedged in the thing and right. maybe kills that guy or something happens. But no... Where did the shocker brother go? He just walks out and you never see him again. <laughs> yeah. Like we don't the wife doesn't do anything big like like she, or she the died. girlfriend How whatever. No, it just stop showing her. I just can't. See, he put this little thing in my head and all he has to do is push one little button and and, and blow my head clean off. They just give up. Yeah, with movies. a lot of the characters. They just they just like, "Where do you go?" Oh, no, 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 who cares? That's why I'm thinking there must have been something that like there, there was something there, like, I don't know. Yeah, this must be a compromise, right? They must have come out with this yeah. when they were... It made me almost think that maybe the guy in the tux kills the shocker guy, and that's why McConaughey is so like, okay, whatever you want, chief. I assume that that is a rhetorical question. You assume whatever you goddamn well please, there ain't no skin off my ass. Is that what you want me to think? Like, yeah. like, understandably, he's the boss, and he's in a tux or whatever, so obviously he's to be respected. But Makane's a crazy motherfucker. Like, he cuts himself for fun. Yeah. If you try something. If I do this. God damn it, Bill, without any wood, bitch! And, and he's acting like such a, like, yes, sir, like, to that guy. It, Which, it was well, weird. we could take that as a way of implying his, like, secret, he's a secret vampire. Yeah, yeah. And, and earlier they say something. What does McConaughey say? You think the FBI doesn't have this whole place under surveillance? You don't think the FBI has this place under 24-hour surveillance? <laughs> you don't think there's transmitters in all these walls? <laughs> Like he's doing that one, right? And then she says something like, oh, he works for like the Illuminati. Like that's mm -hmm. a thing and stuff. They've been doing this kind of thing for like a thousand or 2000 years, I forget which. And nobody, I mean, nobody knows their names. And that's who Vilmer works for. And like, then then when the guy shows up, it's supposed to be like, like this like earth shattering moment where like the movie twists itself into a thing you didn't even realize it was optical illusion the whole time. You thought it was just gonna be a straight slasher film mm -hmm. with like a douchebag boy friend and a douchebag this and a, and a Renee Zellweger but really it's about so much more and then, and then but then it just ends instead you don't want to be a silly boy is that clear of, of like doing it's that thing. barely a slasher it feels film, like honestly. it needs to do the thing yeah because who gets slashed honestly we got the one guy like oh this boy's dead is he okay boy's dead no he's not he's just passed out I said he's dead. He's dead now, so you gotta get us yeah. a neck snap. Uh, the one, the girl gets her head crushed. Um, and also hooked. Hooked, yes, but never slashed. <laughs> Slashing is a very specific um, and thing. How does the how does the boy die? I can't remember. The boyfriend? Yeah, the boyfriend. Just gets asked the question in the okay. hallway at one point. I'll, I'll give uh, okay, a slash maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't even call it a slasher. It's supposed to be like a thriller almost or something. It's, it's barely it's thrilling. Like a, it's almost a comedy to me. Where it's, yeah. It's so it's so just not that's sensical. But, but but now we're getting back into the territory of maybe they were trying to take the piss, but it just so. doesn't work or whatever. <sighs> Well, because you have to make it into a comedy. You have to make it funny. You have I, to do well, I think it's a comedy in the sense that any bad horror movie yeah. is a comedy. Like where you're laughing at what the fuck yeah, is but that, that? What is that? That limo guy is showing up is insane. That has to be but that for is something. insane. Something's going on there. Well, I, would, I don't know what I it is, thought but that something. If yeah. like as you think, this is already like you know the yeah. X in a line of series. Mm -hmm. That oh, we're gonna we're gonna take the whole series this way now with the blah blah. Jason tribute. Jason psychic. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Why would there be two remotes? Why would there even be one remote? <laughs> There's so many. It keeps pulling yeah. them out. It's amazing. No, because like the remotes, like the batteries run out on the remote, and yeah. and he's white trash. So it's like it's like the thing how like your like your dad has twenty remotes. Ah, this one's for the dots ah, for the other VCR. No, you no, threw that VCR I understand out, dad. The, the gimmick, yeah. but what I don't understand is what does the remote actually do? Because he's not sitting there like up, down, up, down. Like every time he moves his leg, it seems like he's just like on 
off or something or or like fucking wiggle and make it so Leatherface we think is going to cut my leg off, but he doesn't because what's this supposed to be? I forgot about that part. Well, he's like holding the girl like, all yeah. right, cut her. And then like she's like, doo, 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 and you're like, oh, cool. We're going to get a nice misfire shot here. Yeah. But no, you get nothing. No, absolutely. And I think that that's like um, one of those weird things. I would love to hear them say, why is that in there? Or what is this supposed to be? Or why is this supposed... Like, clearly it's so that she can hit a button and make him not able to get up for a second and stuff like that. (laughs) They're they're at the the dinner table, you know, where they're going to enjoy their pizza that that she's, like, reheating almost instantly. That pizza would still be fine and hot. Fuck her. Oh, no. They've been doing a lot of... They're they're at the dinner table. There's a bunch of just dead bodies there yeah. and the best part for me is this, like one is just an old man like yeah. and he just leaves and you're like no one makes reference to I him think that's he doesn't a, say yeah. anything I love the idea that that, he, I, that was supposed to be the grandfather I think, I think it's a cameo right? right someone who was in a previous one or some shit there's something no. there's some reason to do something I forget that the guy's not in any of the other movies it, unless he's maybe changed he looks different because he looks like a, a statue now. But my yes. thought is that maybe he's supposed to be somebody, but he's, he's not. Yeah. But anyway, I, I love the idea that like like that's a victim, and, and like they thought he was dead. He's like because <laughs> he, he grabs a knife, like he might have to defend himself. <laughs> and then he just like and we never see him that. again. Like there, the yeah, there's a lot of things like that that I like stored because what happens is I store things in my mind to see if they pay off. Yeah, and they don't. Well, but if they don't, sometimes they just get dumped because uh-huh. nothing. There's, there's no reason to remember it anymore, mm. right? So yeah, you saying these things, I'm like, oh, you're right. Damn, that's another one. That something happened because yeah, when it, when he pulls the knife too, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a thing. You get to run him with the wrong crowd, wind up in the reformatory. No respect, no discipline. That's a problem. Family values have gone straight to hell. We're, we're this is a house of a thousand corpses. Now we're having some fun. Mm-hmm. By the way, all of Rob Zombie's catalog, he's just taking this shitty movie and trying to make it better. Like, it's so sad. I'd say he does do it better. (laughs) He does do it better. But I'm saying, now that I've seen this, I'm like, oh, he's never had an original thought in his life. He's just like, ah, let's put some crazy shit in there. Well, he has a writing credit on this. He better. (laughs) I knew, he would have been been 10 years old. I don't know. 95? (laughs) I don't know the math on this. There's nothing in your head. (laughs) Girl, you just said a mouthful. Please, mister, you're scaring me. Please, mister, you're scaring me. You just watched him murder a guy in front of you. He's trying to kill you. So your thought is, you know what I'll do? He's in a car. I noticed he has a bum leg. I'm going to run straight lines on this road so I can get run over. Yeah. Had he done any footwork and gone into the woods, he would have been 100% fine. You start zigging and zagging. But only on the road. You can't get off the What's illegal? Ugh. You can't stay on the road. So dumb. Got to color within the lines, everybody. So Come dumb. on, let's go this thing. Yeah. I, I do love that multiple times you hear a person like, ah, somebody kill me. What if we got into a wreck and we crashed into a car in front of us and we all died? They could write a song about it. Oh, please kill me. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead right now. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to die here. Whatever the fuck they say. He's going to die. Look at him. And those people, of course, die. Please don't hit me. Don't. <laughs> it's a comedy. I didn't realize. You mean like the boyfriend and girlfriend, I think, right? When they were like, yeah. well, we're walking so long, I'm going to die. And he's just like, re, re, re. Well, he- Some murderer, like that guy in Chicago, he killed people and put their hearts in the refrigerator. He's going to kill us. We're going to show our pictures naked with our hearts torn out on a current affair. He gets in the car crash. He's like, oh, somebody just kill me. I'm dead. Somebody kill me, please. Yeah. Uh, and, and then she says something like, oh, I've had dreams of being stalked. I know we're going to die. I'm sorry, but we're all going to die. There's something in the woods. I'm not. I'm serious. I had these dreams about some weirdo following me through the woods, and it's coming true. There was nothing. There was never anything. And in the there woods. wasn't anything. That no. would have been all no. nicer if it was. When McConaughey first breaks that guy's neck, I thought that was really cool. He's dead now. Because that's so early in the movie, and I really thought at that point that it like, oh, you're being smart. You're cutting to the chase. Why let why let me believe or like play this game? Mm-hmm. Like the kids are like, oh, he's he's kind of funny, but he's helping us. Like like why put us through yeah. this nonsense? And why would he? Because you're always saying that too. Is like you're gonna kill them anyway. What are you doing? Is it that much fun to make them think you're good for like five minutes? Just fucking kill them. I and can he, understand. And he just walks up, feel them out, and kills them. Yeah. Like he had, he was in no danger. He's of 
crazy. losing to that guy too. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, if exactly. you're in a group, if he was in the group of like three, you yeah. might want to be like, okay, let me let me figure well, out who people are, and I think, know my threat. But he yeah. only ever approach uh, encounters them one at a time. No, and when when he picks up uh, what's their name, he does play it off. He's like, well, how you doing? And then he's like, look behind us, blah, 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 and starts yeah. going crazy. You don't know shit about being scared, little girl. Not yet. You want scared? You want scared? Have a look behind you. Have a look. I would never gotten that car. For a little he gives while, that vibe like, cool. get in the car, bitch. She's like driving away. She's like, okay. Uh. She gets in the car. You know where he is? I know exactly where he is. Now, why don't you get in? Well, where is he? God damn it, I said get in the truck. <laughs> Wait, wait a second, hang on. The girlfriend, uh, you know, McConaughey's girlfriend has said, oh, that guy in the truck, you know, he's a little yeah. rough, but he, he's harmless. I'm like, ah! So someone wrote this movie. There's mm. a screenplay at some point. What does the sister do? Because, like, she was at work, right? That's, like, that. that's not a house that they found her in. I think that was, like... Like a secret, like, like, like a, yeah. like a realtor. It, look, it, it looked like a travel agent or a realtor yeah, or like some that. weird, some place where you go sit there and business happens or something. But like, it's even stranger that like, she's there. They set up like, oh, crazy people live across the street, blah, blah, blah. Hey, what about the service station across the road? You think maybe somebody there could give us a ride? That old man? Oh, he is liable to shoot first and ask questions later. Like it's a main road, a business is on it. Like it's yeah. such a weird place to be doing these things. Hey, it's it's in small town somewhere USA. Small I town guess. get killed USA. <laughs> where is che oh probably Texas actually? Yeah, probably Texas. <laughs> um, I was about to be like, where does this take place? Where is the series set? Let's take a step back. <laughs> Let's try to find. Can I see a map? <laughs> must I need be a map Maine or something. I know. I think it was somewhere more south, but we need we need to pin it down. <laughs> Maybe to a region. I don't need the county. I just need the zip code. Oh, God. The stars at night are big and bright. Big in the heart of How does her phone work, though? Did you notice? She just, like, picks it up and she's directly connected with whoever she's talking to. What about your friends? Uh, I don't know. They tried to get a ride. W, what the hell is going on? Some sort of intercom or something. Th exactly. Yeah. So, like... Solve it. I, I, but, but that exactly, I remember the, like seeing it the first time going like, like, is that a movie mistake? Does she not know what landlines are? Like, what the fuck? Because she's like, picks it up, she's like, John, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Like, like, blah, blah. like, what? And she does it more than once. Yeah. So you're like, okay. She has what? a hotline to the den of sin and evil. Wait. I'm going to pass out. God damn answering machine. Don't you worry, you'll pick up. I liked her. I, I tried to look her up, and she's not been in much, I think. But I liked her, because, like, yes, it's obvious, but I but, but she still has to do it all. Yeah. She's a goofball, and she's, like, up and down, turning and would, being very erratic. Her and, it was and really McConaughey, good. super good yeah. at doing what they're doing. Doing and what like, they're doing. I don't doing. know that it's great. I thought Renee Zellweger was really good, too. I thought these people she's were good. She's given almost nothing, but she's, of course. she's doing so yes. much with it, yeah. Three, two, yes, you one. want me alive for some reason. Huh? You want me alive for some reason. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> even even when there's obvious stunt people, I think in between, because yeah. she's like wearing the dress, the still the fucking prom goofy ass prom dress and stuff. She looks good in the glasses though. But yeah. Thanks. Bye. That's a ditch for some reason. I like multiple times she gets guns and like doesn't have a bullet. There's no bullet in the chamber. Yeah. When she throws the revolver at Leatherface, yeah. I was like, get him. All right. Get him. Really? You hate that? I thought. Well, I hate Why would that. you throw the gun? You can find bullets later, lady. I hate that in those kind of scenarios, but in this, she needed anything. That guy's a large chance hey, he's huge. I understand. You just make up a reason to say you like it or don't well, like it. Well, usually it's people yes. that are like, I'm in a military base. Oh, I threw my gun. I'm like, there is a good chance you will find a dead person with bullets on them. This, sure. no such thing. And is that a real, like, sheriff just taxidermy there? <laughs> like, what was that? Oh, and she gets the gun? Yeah. That was insane. Cause uh, that I thought was going to lead to something too, where there's like a very realistic looking dude. Is that is is that an actor? I or think a it was a, I think it was a, 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 an actual a person, but I think it's a taxidermied guy with his full outfit there. Yeah, they don't really dwell on it. No. But uh, that's a weird thing to find. They don't they don't focus a lot on. There's like a dead person in a tub that looks like really good. Like. <sighs> Fuck. Like it's yeah. like there's like just bones and skeletons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The best thing in the movie is the RV couple, though. There's a monster chasing her with a chainsaw. Step on it, Mr. Spottish. The RV couple. Oh yeah. They're. She's like. 
she notices, oh, this woman's being chased by a monster with a chainsaw. And she says, like, what does she call Is him? all the dialogue dubbed into? It's they're something, just like, but they go call Go help her, her like, hurry. Like, like, Mrs. Spencer, Mr. Spencer. Yeah. Step on it, Mr. Spencer. There's a monster coming. <laughs> and he goes, They're yeah, drinking, yeah. like, fucking cocktails. It's wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Spotty. It's a beautiful morning. With like a whole celery, it's like yeah, a Bloody yeah. Mary. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wild. And they save the day. Yeah, well, they die. <laughs> they save the day, Stefan. Uh, Without them, she would have died before the limo guy got there, right? Yeah. I don't think we ever see that limo guy again. I, don't, I think the franchise ends with that. That guy. Oh, there. they don't. They, they don't go back to random limo guy. Would you like to go to the local hospital or to a police station? I don't think so. <laughs> I actually don't know what the one that comes right after this is. If there's more in this series or if the reboot happened after this, it might have gone right to the reboot. It might be the, it's all, yeah. yeah, the one that I'm talking about, right? The Yeah. Was that a reboot? Well, that's a, I guess. the Jessica Biel one was restarting it from the, from the okay. like, because that was just called, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was just called Texas Chainsaw Mascara. Yeah, that one had a very effective trailer with the... <laughs> Oh, is that the good? Yeah. Oh, and they hilarious. do that sound in this. Like that, that that's a thing oh, yeah, from the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. What was that? Did y'all see that? <gasps> oh, ah! Still though, but yeah. I, I remember it vividly. That was when I was at my peak bluffing, because I was like, I have not seen any of these Texas movies mm. in the Chainsaw Massacre zone. But everyone's like, oh shit, they're doing this is back when we were all young and innocent and like, oh, they're remaking stuff, yay! Instead of like, yeah. oh, not again, stop it, you're killing me. I've been stabbed to death by all these remakes. He's already dead. Oh, please stop. He's already dead. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. I have an idea. Why don't I go check? Bitch. Cannibal Video has everything you need. Competition.